rather than looking at a picture of a moment, I kind of want you to be there. I want you to be seeing something happening in motion. Rather than seeing like a picture of something that happened, it's kind of like seeing a moment happening in front of you, I think is the kind of feelings I try to get in my pictures. I think my work, it changes every time I describe it, I think, because it changes with me. It's very personal. It's usually self-portraits, not because necessarily I want to take pictures of myself, but just because I feel like I'm the best person to convey the feelings I think I want within these landscapes. It's almost always at the sea, almost always with like cliffs, because geological time and time as a cycle is a very important part of my work. A lot of my work has been centered around being a diary and being very emotionally open. As I got a bit older, it shifted into kind of keeping that very, very personal meaning, but it shifted to more towards big ideas like like love and grief and dying, but not in like a morbid way, more in like a reckoning with mortality in a way that's more like joyful. People have lived lives on the same space as we have and they've like lived and they've died and they've lived and they've died and there's been generations of people telling the same stories and visiting the same landmarks and doing the same rituals and tasks in their day. And I think feeling connected to those people helps us feel more grounded in both nature and also just ourselves and our place in the world. In Tintagel, the minute that I saw it, I was just like blown away. And I was like, I need to shoot this place. I was very adamant from the start, like that's exactly what I want. That's exactly the kind of thing that I want to make work about. It's the exact kind of place that I feel very connected to. The sea and the landscape and time and history and people. And I fell in love with it immediately. And then I fell in love with it again when I got there because I'd never been there before I went to go and shoot it. And it was even more incredible in person. Um, and it was just a very, very exciting experience all around, I think, because I hadn't realized how, just how kind of magic it as a place it would be. They're like sheer cliffs into the sea, as my English literature studies would be like, oh, the sublime nature of the landscape, how like just kind of terrifying it is in like a really awe-inspiring and beautiful way that paired with the sea that can get just so like relentless, but with the kind of like very gentle and specific history of house foundations and a little stove that is still intact and the little cave that they think was a pantry for people. Like the very like domestic touches, I think is just such an incredible juxtaposition and something that's so kind of touching really. It's very much about myths and history being very present still, rather than being kind of ancient and forgotten by way of connecting with the landscape itself. Heritage is important to me and I think it's something we should definitely examine as well as kind of cherish because especially Britain's done a lot of kind of very questionable things and a lot of bad things, especially being a kid that's from like Hong Kong and from England because it's a very strange relationship to have those two sides because for a long time I've been a bit conflicted being like half Chinese and half English being raised in England I felt very disconnected from kind of my Chinese heritage and I've spent a long time trying to build that connection up to the point where I think sometimes I forget that I'm English too doing a project about like a very British site about a very English history I think was really exciting because it gave me an opportunity to really get into that side of myself it was something I was very excited to do because maybe I've been neglecting it a little bit. The award itself has been an incredible opportunity. Everyone's been so kind and supportive and encouraging and enthusiastic I think is the most important thing like working with people that are excited about what you're doing. They gave me so much creative control which I don't think you often get like they were so on board with all my ideas they really believed in my vision of what I wanted to make. The work I hope inspires people to like visit places such as that like I want to kind of almost let people look at them and feel their kind of warm air and hear the sounds there and feel the grass that they're sat on. But emotionally, I think, to just think about history in a more tangible sense, rather than something that happened a long time ago, I think blurring the lines between kind of past, present, future, visiting these places is almost like a time machine. It's not like, oh, look at what was here before, but you see it and you're like, 
it's still here and it is, exists on its own. Heritage is intrinsically tied to landscape and the two of those things explored together is very important, especially with environmentalism and such. I think to remember how we've lived in the past and how that can inform how we live in the future.